Well, hey, everybody, and welcome to Akashic Affirmations. My name is Angel, and this is going to be the Aries reading for December through um, January. Guys, when I was shuffling your cards, you had the Ace of Swords with the Ace of Pentacles come out. So there is some new clarity, right, that's coming in. And it has everything to do with a brand new start. Um, this is something that, um, you know, you could be moving or uh, it, it could be a new job. It could be a variety of things. But both of these cards, okay, are new beginnings. So you are having right some kind of clarity some truth that's coming to light straight from the universe um and and I, I, what's sticking out to me is the tears here okay um there could have been some hurt in the past that you have um been going through and what what's really um, sticking out to me now is this hand, okay? The hand from the universe to me with this glow, it almost feels like God pushed through the clouds. It, it almost, excuse me guys. Sorry, guys, I was um, interrupted. I forgot to put the Do Not Disturb on. But anywho, um, this is something brand new coming at you straight from the universe. It had to, um, it almost like they had to give that push, okay? Um, the push that was needed from them for you to see the clarity in what was coming next and I think that you had to see the truth in the situation to actually have you work with the universe this time at a brand new start I don't know I right I don't see anything to do with love okay but this is something tangible Okay, something you can actually possess. So you're getting the truth, brand new truth, in something you can hold. But this is something brand new. Okay, so we're going to see. And um, just for food for thought, um, this reading is going to consist of um, runes. Okay, if you have noted in the um, title of uh, or the, the uh, picture for the title of the reading, these are ancient runes. Um, if you look back a few years, uh, maybe a year ago, um, or a year and a half ago, I did a rune reading for each zodiac sign. Um, I did not get a lot of response with it, but this is some of my favorite divination tools. So, we're going to go ahead and incorporate this for the new year along with your reading. And then we're going to get you some affirmations uh, for the new year coming in. Okay? Alright. So, like I said, as I was shuffling, that popped out. So, I had to... I didn't want to um, go any further with this until I got you that information. Now there is the Ace of Wands right with the death. So there's some kind of passion that you have transformed. Okay, you had to work through your brand new passions that you're having. 
let's see king of swords so you had to make a head over heart decision a logical decision to end a cycle probably let's see yep that's what I was getting ready to say it's probably that something happened in the past um, but I see you keep looking back at it as if what could I have done more but there was something that you had to to put a cap on your heart and think logically but you keep looking back at it oh and you really you really hurting so you really did not want to complete the cycle but something in your logical mind told you to do so but you really love that person. Look, it's keeping you awake, right? Thinking about everything that happened. And you're like, why didn't this person want to give to me? I gave. You, give, you had given everything that you could. And that person from the past just wasn't. This is what is keeping you up at night. The equal giving and receiving in a relationship that was not happening. The equal giving and receiving, right? Along with the new start that you actually needed this is a brand new beginning. This was you feeling the love and, and, and everything. See the warmth of the sun is shining on him. And he doesn't know if there's, you know, icicles at the bottom of this cliff he, he could jump off and die so you were willing to do everything to give to the relationship where the other person wasn't so you completed the cycle let's go on ace of cups with the magician so this was a brand new love that you felt inspired to give your heart to and to manifest what you actually wanted. I mean, you have the fool with the ace of cups and the magician. You were willing to give this person the new love that the, the relationship needed and to actually have all the elements right along with you with the infinity symbol infinite abundance of these of all of these needs they all need to come together to manifest and you were willing you were willing I think this is a person you were willing to see the new dawn of the new day because from what I'm seeing this is a person from your past that you loved y'all putting into things because of logical decisions you were manifesting everything it took for that new dawn. You see the yellow? 
this is a new inspiration you see this you were done with all of the mental burdens of everything you were just willing to jump off that cliff and to manifest getting rid of all of these swords from how you're dead right you're like almost you know you're on the respirator by now and there's always that new light see that new dawn of the new day you were willing to jump off that cliff even though you had made all of these decisions to complete the cycle previously I think the logical decision you made was for both of y'all. And you were like, why did I do that? Why did I do that? Because whatever was in your head at that time was not good for either one of you. Because this is a logical decision that you complete what you had with them. But you looked back at everything and you said, Oh my goodness, what did I do? The equal giving and receiving. For a new adventure, right? A new love to manifest. A new beginning. I'm telling you, y'all were together before and you made that decision to look at things from another angle. I'm surprised the two which was, is a wish fulfillment for you. So, I've I seen that coming because now you wanted the new beginning. You wanted that love. You wanted to manifest a new beginning with them because you were done with all of the mental things that you were going through. And it was a wish fulfillment for you. That's great. But then you run into, oh my gosh. Now there are many things involved in our lives. Now I'm in the dark on their life. Because this person were single for so long. This is a long relationship. This is a very long relationship. Seven, I told you. There, there's been, in, in the time away that y'all have had, y'all have manifested different lives. Y'all have invested in other places in y'all own investments. Which there's the truth. You see it now for what it is. Wow. This is a lot. I have to admit, Aries, this, this is a lot on you. Your heart is so invested. It's unbelievable. You must really have looked back at your life with that person and said, what the 
hell did I do? Now this person has gone about their life, their life, and invested, see how many pentacles? And invested in other places. And now you have to witness the clarity in where you put yourself. The clarity is how can you give this new love, this new inspired love that you have for that person that you didn't see before. Now that everything has taken place. All of these investments, I feel like Ryan, all of these investments, all of, because when you invest, you invest your heart. And now that person has this to deal with, has this to deal with, has this to deal with, has this, this, and you are all in the dark about all of it. And they probably won't even tell you half of it. Now, what do you do? Because you, this is... You love this person. Oh, my God. And I got that... Y'all making me cry. I have that song in my head. How am I supposed to live without you? When everything that I've loved for so long, I've been loving you for so long. Uh, tell me, how can I, how am I supposed, I would say, um, can you, I don't know. Anyway, tell me how am I supposed to live without you now that I've been loving you so long. Tell me how am I supposed to live without you? When all that I've been living for is gone. You always thought that y'all would get back. After you went through your stuff. Oh wow. This person is an illusion to all of this. Nobody sees it. Oh my gosh. This is like Y'all like secret lovers. The Emperor. This ain't going nowhere. Because y'all brave enough. This is all an illusion. Y'all, if y'all really want to get back, I would stake your claim. I would stake your claim. Bottom of the deck. Look at this. You can't make this up. Twin Flame Union. I'm so used to having a camera the other way. Oh my God. All right, y'all, let's get you some room. What can, what do you have to work on to have this back in your life? 
Okay, so you're getting, um, this is water upside down, okay? This is a feminine energy. Um, wait, I'm crying. I, I can't even see. Um, okay. Let me take my glasses off. And, oh my goodness, y'all. Um, this right here, okay. This is a, this is like water, okay? But you have it in reverse. So this is like exceeding your own strength. Um, you need to, in the future, you need to use your wisdom. And this, you feel because this is going beyond your own power to do something. Like pulling from the universe. I mean, something where it's almost as if you're you're calling out to the ethers. And, and calling your angels and saying I need help with this I've gone above and beyond I've been stabbed in the back so many times and I still want this okay now this rune here is um, an antenna, okay? But it is in reverse. So this is like a lack of clarity, okay? Um, this is like accepting what is offered. So they may be asking you to accept what is and it's breaking your heart so we're going to see what uh let's just move this to the side Affirmation. Choose friends wisely. Okay. We're going to pull three. Make a plan. And let go and enjoy. So you need to uh, pick and choose your friends. Make that plan. Okay. And then most of all, just let go and enjoy. Okay. Make that plan. Whew. Guys, if you need um, a personal reading, all my information is down in the description box below. And with that, I bid you namaste.